How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can hide your IP address easily. And uh, a lot of these ways are actually free. So let's get straight into it. OK, so there are a few ways to change your IP address. And uh, before I get into the proxies and Tor and VPNs, now, the first thing you want to do is unplug your modem. And the trick with this method is to leave your modem unplugged for as long as possible. Now, it's not very reliable as it doesn't work most of the time, uh, so it shouldn't be your first choice. Plus, your ISP can still see your online activity and it provides no security or privacy protection, but it will still change your IP address. I would recommend leaving it overnight uh, and, you know, the next day when you turn it on, it should pick up a new IP address. Uh, what we can also do is get your ISP to change it for you. So you can go ahead and do that if you would like. Now, another way that I don't recommend without using a VPN is by simply connecting to a public Wi-Fi. Now, public Wi-Fi is going to compromise your data. It's very risky to connect to a public Wi-Fi without encrypting your connection with a VPN. This is not a safe option because hackers often use public Wi-Fi networks to conduct unsuspecting attacks. Now, what you can do instead of connecting to a public Wi-Fi is to create a hotspot on your smartphone. So you can just turn on your uh, smartphone hotspot and connect your device to it. And this will give you a new IP address. And now moving on to the better methods, you can go with a free proxy or a paid proxy. But I wouldn't recommend a paid proxy because if you're going to pay for a proxy, you should probably just go for a VPN. Now, a proxy server acts as an intermediary between your device and the internet, routing your traffic through a different IP address. You can use a free proxy server or purchase a subscription to a proxy service, but it's not going to provide you with the encryption that a VPN does. Next up, you have the Tor browser. Now, you can use the Tor network, which is free. It's an open source software that routes your internet traffic through multiple servers to conceal your IP address. But this will give you access to the dark web, and the dark web can be associated with illicit activity. Activities. So again, we circle back to the VPN in order to protect your real IP address, because if you connect to the Tor browser without a VPN, your ISP will still be able to tell that you are connected to the Tor browser, and this might put you on some kind of a watch list. So when you download the Tor browser, you're going to have this right here. Uh, and before you start the Tor browser, I would just recommend connecting to the VPN, which leads us to the final method today, and that is obviously a VPN. And this is going to be the best method because a VPN encrypts your internet connection and hides your IP address by routing your traffic through a server in another locations. And a VPN will not only encrypt your traffic, but will also make you legitimately look as if you're in that location. And that'll give you access to streaming services that may not be available to you. Otherwise, it will completely encrypt your connection. You'll have access to plenty of servers and locations, and you'll be able to torrent safely and preserve your anonymity online. So this is honestly my best pick in terms of changing your IP address because it will also encrypt your traffic. And of course, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs that are narrowed down to these three as the best overall, which is why I have them recommended right here. Uh, they all vary in budgets and features, so you can pick and choose depending on your own situation and where you're looking for out of your VPN and your own budget and preferences, of course. Uh, you've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. You'll find the full reviews down below if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security features, and you'll find links to pricing discounts if you're interested. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.